I'll say it every time Porsche trots out its latest model with the GTS badge on the back. This is the best one in that given lineup. The GTS model represents the perfect balance between the everyday greatness you can expect from a Porsche and the top tier insanity that comes with the upper level models. And this holds true even on something such as the Cayenne. So say hello to the 2025 Porsche Cayenne GTS. Oh, and the coupe version too, I guess. With a GTS model, Porsche takes elements from upper and lower trim models to create a perfect all-arounder. My favorite version of the 911 for daily use? It's the GTS. The best version of the Taycan wagon? It was the GTS. The best Cayman you could buy? For my money, it was the GTS 4.0. All truly amazing machines. With the 2025 Cayenne GTS, Porsche is starting with the automaker's latest version of its hauler of both people and butts and adding in elements from the top tier Turbo GT variant. The GTS suspension setup is adapted from that model. The air suspension gets a GTS specific tune. Plus you have the Porsche Active Suspension Management, Active Damper System, as well as Torque Vectoring Plus, both fitted as part of the standard kit. The GTS sits 10 millimeters lower compared to lower trim models. And if you want, you can add on the dynamic chassis control system as an optional extra. To improve steering response and turn that nose in as quickly and efficiently as possible, Porsche uses the same front axle pivot bearings from the Turbo GT. This adds more negative camber and sets the Cayenne up for greater cornering capability. You always want more power too, of course. Under the hood is the expected twin turbocharged 4 liter V8 engine. Here, however, it makes 493 horsepower and 487 pound-feet of torque. It's backed up by an 8-speed automatic, which Porsche says has an even quicker shift calibration in the Sport and Sport Plus driving modes. It's enough of an upgrade to let the Cayenne GTS rip off a 0 to 60 mile per hour run in just 4.2 seconds. Keep the throttle wide open and you can run on up to the top speed of 171 miles per hour. When you're done drag racing and ready to hit some curves, you'll find an abundance of grip thanks to the abundance of rubber surrounding the 21-inch RS Spider design wheels. On the outside, the Cayenne GTS gets gloss black trim, smoked headlights and taillights, and a unique GTS front fascia. On the inside, the cabin is finished in race text trim. Additionally, since this is a new Cayenne, you also get the Porsche driver experience. That would be the massive digital display that spans the dash and is available with the optional passenger display. It's comprised of a 12.6 inch curved digital gauge cluster, a 12.3 inch center display, and the optional 10.9 inch passenger display. It looks nice and works well, even if it seems like overkill at first glance, because man, that's a whole lot of screen. Don't focus on the screen though. Focus on the noise that comes from the sport exhaust system that comes standard and focus on driving this thing because that's what GTS models are all about. Also focus on your now depleted bank account because the Cayenne GTS starts at $126,895 when it goes on sale this fall. You can also spend more for less headroom if you prefer the Cayenne GTS Coupe, which starts at $131,495.